Hello and welcome back to Man V Film. Time for another announcement video. This time we have number 29 in the 101 Films Black Label range, a range that I love. In fact, uh, over my shoulder here you can see my current Black Label collection and we're going to look at this which is the first, I guess, for the Black Label collection other than maybe Silent Night, Deadly Night, which is a two-pack. This is a three-pack horror release um, from one of my favourite directors. I'm super excited about this one. Let's just dive in and have a look at the Bob Clark Horror Collection. Just been announced, number 29 in the Black Label range, out on the 3rd of April. You can pre-order it now from 101 Films. 101 Films presents the Bob Clark Horror Collection, featuring the director's highly influential horrors of the early 70s, brought together for the first time. Though he would achieve wilder success with 1980s hit comedies such as Porky's and A Christmas Story, Clark's run of three horror movies a decade earlier, low-budget horror comedy, Children Shouldn't Play With Dead Things, chilling Vietnam War critique Death Dream, and genre-defining class a slasher masterpiece Black Christmas ensure this legacy is the master of the horror genre. Title 29 on the 101 Films Black Label is this limited edition set featuring a new Bob Clark documentary, Dreaming of Death, stunningly newly commissioned artwork for all three titles with traversable sleeves and booklet with the new writing on the director's career, a set of art cards and extensive uh, additional content. Now, the documentary is a great addition. Black Christmas was previously on 101 Films and it was a phenomenal release, really fantastic. I covered that a long while ago on the channel. Uh, children Shouldn't Play With Dead Things, led by a mean-spirited director, a theatre troupe travels by boat to a small island for a buried criminals. Uh, the group get more than they bargain for when the dead rise from their graves. Can they stay put until daylight against the undead onslaught, or do they flee into pitch black night? Will anyone survive? I saw Children Shouldn't Play With Dead Things uh, not long ago, maybe uh, just the middle of last year. Uh, I enjoyed it, uh, one I'd be looking forward to revisiting. There's a commentary with Alan Ormsby, Jane Daly and Anya Cronin. Alan Ormsby interview, Memories of Bob Clark, Confessions of a Grave Digger, interview with Ken Gotch, uh, Grindhouse Q&A, Cemetery Mary music video, and Dead Girls Don't Say No music video. It's got a trailer, photo gallery, and English subtitles. One that I'm really curious about seeing is Death Dream. I haven't seen this Bob Clark film. I have often heard of it, also known as Dead of Night. In this shattering variation on the monkey's paw, grief-stricken suburban parents refuse to accept the news that their son Andy has been killed in Vietnam. But when Andy returns home soon after, something may be horribly wrong. Andy is alive and well, or is he? It's Dreaming of Death, a brand new feature-length documentary on the work of director Bob Clark, brand new audio commentary with Travis Crawford and Bill Ackerman trailer and English subtitles. I really want to see that doc. I really want to see that film. It sounds really kind of fun. I generally like most of Bob Clark's stuff. There is exceptions later on, um, but earlier stuff is pretty terrific. Black Christmas, which we should all know, and if you haven't seen it, you're in for a treat. A Christmas break begins. A group of sorority sisters make plans for the holiday. Jess and Barb begin to receive anonymous, lascivious phone calls that put them on edge. Initially, Barb encourages the mysterious caller, but stops when he responds threateningly. Soon, Barb's friend goes missing from the sorority house, and a local adolescent girl is murdered, leading the girls to suspect a serial killer is on the loose. The police finally begin to get concerned when the teenage girl is found dead in the park, they set up a wire trap to the sorority house, but no one realises just how near the killer really is. A commentary with Bob Clark, commentary with John Saxon and Kira Dulé, commentary with actor Nick Mancuso, film and furs remembering Black Christmas with Art Hindle, victims and virgins remembering Black Christmas with Lynn Griffin, Black Christmas Legacy, a 40th anniversary reunion panel, at the Fan Expo Canada in 2014, TV and radio spots, 12 Days of Black Christmas featurette, 
Black Christmas Revisited Feature It, Midnight Screaming Screening Q&A with Bob Clark, John Saxon and Carol Zittra, and English Subtitles. This looks like a phenomenal set. Um, there's artwork there, which I really like. We've got, it looks like, uh, or it says here in the case, it's three discs, so it's got three covers on it, which is great. I always like to get individual cases when you get these releases. It's got the art cards, uh, the three discs. I am really excited by this. Uh, I, I do like the Black Label. I have them all. I'll be looking forward to adding this one to my collection as well. So, what I want to know is, have you seen these three films? What's your thoughts on the films? Let me know in the comment box below as whether you're picking this up, whether you've ordered it. Let me know because I'm just nosy that way. There is more content up here if you want to see more of my stuff. In the description box below are links to the Patreon membership program and manvfilm.com, always in which you can support me. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.